All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to the Real Odd Bets podcast. Here we got two bets today we're going to talk about. One really weird bet and one bet we're all wondering about. But the first one we're going to talk about, Deadpool. Will Wrexham be mentioned in the Deadpool movie? We'll get more into that and look at the odds. Also, we're all wondering where Shohei Otani will go. What team will he go to? We'll look at the odds. We'll look at what team is leading the race here. But before we get into it, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy these episodes. We do this every Thursday, the Real Odd Bets podcast. So getting right into it, bet number one, Deadpool 3 is just about to come out. Will Deadpool wear any Wrexham-related gear during the movie? We all know Ryan Reynolds bought Wrexham, and of course, would he want to put Wrexham in the movie? It's just extra publicity for Wrexham. Why not put it in? He's the owner. I feel like he could call all the shots in Deadpool, so why not put Wrexham in the movie? I'm sure it will be mentioned. So there's also another bet. Number of times Wrexham will be mentioned in the movie. So they even say it could be mentioned more than a couple times. There's zero times, one to two times, three to four times, or five plus times. At the five plus times, it's plus 350. So it's not crazy. Zero times, though, is leading the way. So maybe will the producers not uh, want Wrexham to be mentioned? Maybe Wrexham would have to pay the producers of Deadpool to put them in there. I don't know how much say Ryan Reynolds has, but I feel like by the third movie of Deadpool on how successful Deadpool is, I feel like Ryan Reynolds has some say here what he wants in the movie and not in the movie. And of course, why not put Wrexham in there? I feel like they have to at least give a nod to Wrexham in some way. Maybe we'll even just see it in the background, some Wrexham sign, a jersey, maybe some people wearing the jersey in the film. But will the name Wrexham actually be mentioned? I don't know. That's the question. Um, when it comes to the first bet, though, will any Wrexham-related gear be worn du during the movie? Yes, I believe so. Minus 135. So it's not the best odds, but I do think that's going to happen. Let me know what you guys think. Will there be Wrexham gear being worn in Deadpool 3? I believe so. I would uh, be actually shocked and surprised if we didn't see any Wrexham gear being worn in Deadpool 3. Uh, as far as number of times will Wrexham be mentioned in the movie, I think it definitely has to be one to two times here. Uh, zero times mentioned in the movie, I feel like wouldn't happen, but maybe there are you know some naming rights that you cannot say a professional team without being paid. So I feel like Wrexham would have to pay the producers of Deadpool um, but I could be wrong on that. But this is the hard part about this bet. You have to guess it zero times or is it one to two times? So if they mention it three times, you lose your bet. Will they mention it three to four times or five plus times? I don't think they're going to mention uh, Wrexham that much in Deadpool. But I'm going to guess at least it's going to be mentioned once. But let me know what you guys think. Will it be mentioned? Will they wear gear from Wrexham? I think so. All right, moving on to bet number two. We're all wondering where Shohei Otani will be. This bet is not crazy. It's not a weird bet. It's not an odd bet like we like to say, but this is a fun one because we're all trying to guess where Otani will go. That's the big question. Uh, you know, everyone wants Otani to come to their team. I'm a San Francisco Giants fan. If you look at the standings here or the rankings of which team he could go to, the Giants are third on that list at plus 600, but Dodgers leading the way at plus 110. Everyone's saying Otani's most likely going to go to the Dodgers, which I could definitely see happening. I heard he wants to stay on the West Coast, so that just leaves the Dodgers, the Angels, and the Giants, not the Oakland A's because they're going to Vegas, but Dodgers are a great team. They win first place almost every year, so why not go to the Dodgers? It's an L.A. market. It's a huge market. Why not go to the Dodgers? It makes sense business-wise for sure. Going to San Francisco, it's a huge market as well, and I feel like uh, he would have a lot of support there in San Francisco. But here's the only downfall about playing in San Francisco, and I'm a Giants fan, but I hate to say this. It is not a home run hitting park for hitters. He, ha he hits a lot of home runs. But on the other hand, he's a great pitcher. So it's a pitcher's ballpark, 
but it's not a home run hitting ballpark. So we know that Otani is a great pitcher. His arm is wearing down. So I feel like he's not going to be pitching for that many more years if he wants to be a successful batter. So he's going to have to give up pitching at some point. So the long-term move for the Giants is not a good idea. Unless he signs like a three, four-year contract with the Giants, that would make sense. I know he's been talking about signing a contract with lower years but more money. I don't really like these long 10-year contracts. It makes no sense for baseball players because half the time, more than half the time, they're not going to play that whole 10-year contract. They're going to be injured probably three, four, five of those years, unfortunately, and that's just how it works. So those short contracts, three, four, five years max, I think they should sign those contracts, especially Otani, because like you don't want to be stuck with a team for 10-plus years. No one wants to do that. They want to move around because what if you become unhappy with that team after three or four years? You're stuck in this huge contract. You're hoping you get a trade. Um, so in that case, I do believe Otani will sign a lower contract. Will he go to the Chicago Cubs? That's second on the list. He go to the Cubs. I know another Japanese player is on the Cubs, so maybe some com uh, comfortability there playing over there in Chicago. But like I said before, he wants to play, or at least the rumor is he wants to play for a West Coast team. And I don't know if that's true or not. We got the New York Mets on there. I, the only reason we have the New York Mets on there is because they have so much money. They will buy whoever they want, whenever they want. Does that work for the Mets? No, not at all. Look what happened last season. They tried to buy all their all-stars, and they were a bad team at the end of the day. You need chemistry, and that was not working out for him. So, yes, he could go to the Mets just because of pure money. He would get paid if he went to the Mets. He would get paid a lot, a lot of money. So if you want to just be in it for the money, go to the Mets. Going to the Rangers, they just won the World Series. I don't know why um, he would go to the Rangers anyways. Yes, they're a great team. They just won the World Series, but like, other than that, you know, Dallas or Arlington area, it's not a huge market and it's in the middle of the country. I know he wants to be on the, you know, the West coast, maybe he even wants to be on the East coast, but he's going to be on a coast or coast team. Oh yeah. The Seattle Mariners are on the West coast. They're on the list too. The Yankees, of course, on the list. Cause they're going to pay up too. they're going to be battling it out with the Mets on, uh, who will get Otani. Um, if I had to choose, I don't like to choose this, but I feel like he's going to go to the Dodgers. I really hope he doesn't go to the Dodgers. I would love for him to go to the Giants. But if he does go to the Giants, um, you know, we're going to have to overpay for him. And is that something we want to do long term? Sure, he's going to sell tickets. Sure, he's going to be great um, at least the next few years. But like baseball players, for the most part, they go up. And then they go right back down because they just get older. Their body breaks down. That's what most athletes do. So, yes, he's worth the money. But I think for a short-term contract, like a three- to five-year max contract. So, if I had to choose, he's probably going to go to the Dodgers. I would love for him to go to the Giants. And my third choice, I could see the Mets just going all out and paying the money for Otani. But I want to know what you guys think. Where do you guys think Otani will go do you want him to come to your team? Do you want him to stay away from your team so you could save the money? Let me know in the comments. I want to hear from you guys. And uh, with that being said, I'm going to wrap it up here. Those are the two bets on the Real Odd Bets podcast. Stay tuned for next week and weigh in in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe before you head out. You guys have a good rest of your day. Peace out.